Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So today into this particular video, we'll be learning that, uh, let's say I'll be taking up a respective data. Okay, so up till now what we were doing, uh, we were slightly picking up some sample data and uh, onto those. It's right, it's right, it's right, it's right, it's right. It's right. So um, this was what we were actually doing up till now. But now right away what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start taking up a particular data. Right now with that particular data, what are the things needed to be done? How to rename the columns or uh, simply we will we'll be learning that how you can create up your own group and put up some columns inside those groups. Right so now I'll be working on a real data set. This is what we are going to start in from this particular video. Right, so hope I am pretty much clear with that particular thing to you that what are we going to start in from here. So for the very first thing what I'm going to do is that I would show you the data set which we are going to use. Okay, so that's my data set which we people are going to use up here. That's uh, one of my uh, data sets which are actually the Google Play Store data set. Okay. So onto this particular one only we'll be learning that uh, how these things can be worked upon and how we can just simply make up some cool plots uh, and just uh, like many more functions which you have in there onto the tab you will be learning all those functions onto this particular data only. Okay, so that's the CSV data. What I'm going to do is that I would just save up this particular data onto my desktop and uh, from there we can just simply do the things but uh, okay, let me save it in the data sets only and let that be the same name and let me click over the save option. Oh, great, that's done. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's out, right? So yeah, this particular data has been saved onto my that particular folder. I'm gonna go over the tab view right away now. Yes, now I'm gonna connect this to my uh, data. So I'm gonna click on connect to the data and my data is an Excel file so for, for my data. So yeah, that's gonna be worked out. And then next I'm going to go up here and then further here from here I'm going to go to the data sets. Okay, one second. Let me click over the all files. Okay, now here it will be coming up my Google Play Store data. And this one and I'm going to click over the open file. Great. So what's going to do up here for me is that it's open up that particular data for me here. It's that the queries are getting executed. After some seconds, it will just simply uh, execute up all the queries for me. And um, okay, table cannot copy. Okay, let me just close in this particular thing from here. Let me go with this particular data set. Okay, here's my data set. I'm going to go over the file. I'm going to click over the save as option. I'm going to again go to my data sets option. And rather than my CSV, I'm going to set this as my XLSX data. So that is my Excel. Um, yeah, Excel is going to work up on. Or let me just click over this one. And let me go over this particular next one like that. Oh, let me just once again go over to my desktop first. Okay, and after that, let me cl click over what was that my uh, data sets. Okay, now from here, I would just choose that which one is my going to be the workout. The oh, Excel workbook. Fine, let me just click over save here. Now, here you just got to learn one thing that when I'm just choosing up here my Excel data, right, when I just try to choose that out, you have to make sure that, that your particular data has been stored into the Excel format only. So here is my Google Play Store. I'm going to click over the open button and now it will successfully open up that particular data for me right away onto my tablet because now I'm having up the correct format. Right. Yeah, it's opening up all of those respective things. Let that take its time and for you can proceed on. Great. So I can just maximize that out a little bit right away. So see, uh, we are having a lot of um, particular fields. My fields are app, category, rating, review, size, install, style, price, content, rating, channels, last updated, current version, Android version. Right, so yeah, these types of respective uh, files we are having in here. And we're having a lot of data as here as well, right? So let me just get back here. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take you over the sheet and then I'm going to explain you the rest left out things, whatever are to be done up here. 
so yeah this is my particular sheet okay now just on to the left hand side as you know all my tables have been appeared up here whatever the respective i wanted to now in front of the tables in front of what are the tables abc is written those respective are my categoricals and this hash number is presented in front of whatsoever those are all my numericals so my price my rating review size these are my numericals right and then the android version app category content rating current version genus installs and the type these all are my categoricals right so that's the respective idea now what i could do is that i will simply start making up some uh, cool styles for so for this particular plot okay so let's say i just wanted to do it over the uh let, let's do that over first of all the apps Okay, the field belongs to many countries as well as the members and recommend access to apps as well. What do you want to do? Uh, we can just filter and then add out. Right, yeah. We can just filter up the apps and um, here from that we can just simply custom, uh, on top custom values, we can just work upon the things. Right, so see here, we are having some 1000 apps here. Okay, 1000 apps. Okay, so what we could do is that I could go over this particular one and we can just simply set on some measures or we can click with the count distinct. Right, so yeah, it helps me to count out the distinct apps, but yeah, I do not want these particular things, so I'm going to remove up this particular one from here. I could take up my category. Okay, yeah, my categories are pretty fine, so these are my categories, and with that, we can click with the ratings. Okay, so yeah, this is a cool plot which is which we can we made it up here. So see, art and design is having up a rating of 270, and it's it's actually summing up the ratings. Okay, now what I could do is start. I could click over this particular one. I can go with a measure, right? And from there we can just simply send out some. Let's say I want to do average. So that's the average which we are getting up here, right? So average rating is uh, 129. It's 4.36, it's 4.19. So like this, you can just go ahead and find on the average ratings in out of five. Right? Out of five, these particular things could be done out. So yeah, that's the idea. Rather than this is one more type of plot which could be made on. So that's the thing. Right? The table can be made up. That's pretty fine for the average. And uh, that's done. This sort of table can also be made up here. So yeah, that I just simply do up. Uh, the bar charts, the stacked bars, these are my stacked bars. What are these? These are my box plots. What's that? This is my, yeah, it looks cool, right? It looks cool. Now, I just really do not want to uh, keep this one. So I'm going to click over the exclude, right? I hope they do. you notice out whatever I did. See, now let's say here it's for 1.9 for me, right? A category there is 1.9 and the average rating is also 19.0. Now, this is actually one of the things which is not suiting my complete data format whatever i am having up, right so what i could do is that i could click over this particular column right i could do the right click after doing up the right click i could do, just go over this exclude button okay this exclude and i will simply click up so now that has been removed there from from there for me now the events is having rating 4.4 education 4.3 art and design 4.3 and so respectively you are having all of your uh, particulars uh, accordingly here okay all of your ratings are, are the average rating so that you are having it right so yeah that's the thing uh, which could be very easily done up here um, now after that you can make it I guess this one was just so cool okay let, let's check in this one was done okay that's not making up a two cents and yeah this one can also be a little bit of fit for you so you can just simply see here I just selected all of those and now I want to change the color. Let's say I want this color. See color change. How did I do this? Once again, listen. I just clicked over this particular white portion and do Control plus A. Control plus A helps you to select up all of these particular options. Right, I selected. I did go on to my color option. And from there, I could just change any color accordingly. See, I can change those according to my choice, whatever the colors I want out. Right, the so borders, if you want, you can set up some borders as well, according to your choice. Now, see, this is the border as well, which are appearing up here for me. So, that's the thing. I can just once again uh, select all control A. We can just increase or decrease the size as well. If you want to set up some labels, so yeah, labels can be done up here. Right, the, so the like the font, how much font should be there. So, we can uh, decrease or increase the font as well, according to the needs, whatever are done. Right, so see. 
uh, details on a tool tip. Everything is pretty cool. So try it here. This particular plot can also meet up here. So now the best one was this particular one that was demonstrating us that how these things could be done and like, like how does these particular uh, ones could be made on. Right. So yeah, that's the respective idea. Great. Now I'm going to close this out from here. Perfect. So yeah, this one is one and I can just put up all over the my sheets that what was my name of the sheet? My sheet name was um, uh, it was a uh, category category G O R uh, Y category uh, versus app ratings. Right. This was my particular one. I can just send over this as um, bold and we just simply click over the OK. So it shows me that this particular plot, which I had plotted in here, it's category versus the app ratings. So see, I did told you some new things today into this particular video. What were those? You those were how you can set on the respective measure. Measure means that whatever the numerical columns you are having. Let's say you want the count, you want the mean, you want the median, you want the sum, you want the count, you want the standard deviation. So those all the things can be done up accordingly. The method I told is click over this particular button, get down, click over the measure option, options. And from there you are having many measure options. So you can simply choose any one of those according to your choice. Right, yeah. And I just told you about this particular thing, then changing the color for all, all of those, or you can have just work upon a, a respective data set, a real life data set, right? Further, we'll be continuing up this particular analysis into the next video. So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.